Hi, my name is David Kirkham. I'm the president of Kirkham Motorsports and welcome to another edition of Kirkham Motorsports University. Here today we're going to show you our next project. We have a customer who's asked us to make a flip top. The flip top is where the front of the car removes and opens up the whole front uh, bonnet of the car or hood of the car. And we're going to get our inspiration off of the coupe over here. Uh, the coupe, the front nose tilts away on that and we've been looking at that car to see how how to make all the, the front tilt away. So I've got here with me uh, Dave Sendrich. Dave Sendrich is a machinist, also has done a lot of fabrication work. And we're gonna we're talking about where we're gonna cut this. And we'll make a series of videos here for you as, as we make this car for the customer. We're probably gonna have to come in, we want it even with the door. Now just like the original flip top car, we'll be cutting it, we'll cut it off. Right there, pretty even. Maybe, yeah, maybe make a nice little radius in there, something that sort of matches the, the door. And we'll cut up across the top of the, the cowl. Probably where, about right here, Dave? Yeah. A couple of inches in front of the, all the windshield wiper stuff and. That'll give us room to put some steel substructure in the cowl to hold the cowl up and as well to put some steel substructure onto the, the, the flip top part of the, the bonnet so it has something to grab onto. We're going to need to cut it away from the chassis as well. So where should we do that? Well, there's a couple places we need to cut it. We need to cut and add some hinges to the frame somewhere as low as we can so that the nose tilts uh, away from the tires and away from the frame down here. And so what we're thinking is we're going to weld a, a hinge bracket about here where my hand is and another one on the existing structure that's going to be cut away from where the sway bar mounts. That's a pretty solid tube there because that's where the, the jack hooks bolt in on that tube, so that should be a pretty good pivot point. Yeah, it's going to be good, and we need to go from there to here to strengthen that because now it's just flapping in the breeze. And um, we have to leave the radiator um, all attached to the main frame, so we have to tilt away from the radiator also, so that will allow us to do that. It also will allow us to keep the oil cooler uh, stationary also. And so if you, if you look right here, we're going to cut it about here. Can you see that? And then we're going to weld the tube there to there to keep this from flopping around. Um, and we'll cut it off right on this three-quarter tube here. Yep. Weld the brace across there so we can still mount the radiator, but be free of, be free of the radiator. Because right now the radiator, radiator is attached to that. The next place we've got to cut it is there's some tubes crossed here that we've got to cut and uh, and add some bracing across this like the Daytona coupe has. And then right here on the side, we're going to need to weld in a a bar, huh? We'll have to weld a bar in yeah. probably right here where the where the whole top can. Yeah, clamshell we'll, we'll, down onto. What we'll do is fold this aluminum over that square tube right across here and we'll have some tabs that are welded on there also that will have a Zeus fastener on the aluminum from this side. So as this comes down, this will will come down over this tab and we can secure this piece to the Zeus fasteners that are attached to this steel tube. And put a steel plate in there to hold it. That'll so, prevent yeah. this thing from wobbling around. around. Okay. And it sounds easier than just cutting. There's a lot of welding and there's going to be a lot of fitting on these edges because we have to add material to the edge. We have to fold material under to create a solid edge and an edge that looks nice and is not going to cut you and you know everything uh, works proper that way. All right, well, we're going to have fun, and uh, we'll make some more videos for you, and we'll show you exactly how we did it.
This is a 3D model that we've done of our car body in SolidWorks. And Dave is going to show us right here where he's going to pivot. I'm going to pivot down really low so that as the nose comes off the car, it pivots forward and away from the wheels, up over the wheels, and away from the body. So Dave will grab it, and it will pivot about that fixed point. There we've marked out all the areas we'll cut in CAD, and tomorrow we'll start cutting on the body.